Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we continue to discuss about the VTK. For previous video, we have already shown you how to generate the data for testing and how to load the data by VTK readers. For this video, we will discuss how to process the data by calling the data filters provided by VTK and how to write the data into files by using the VTK writers. OK, let's start with the real examples. OK, let's see how it works for real examples. In this main function, we load the data into the data reader, and we cite the file name here, we execute uh, update, and get output, and generate the polygonal data. The API provided by VTK is really straightforward and easy to use. We just need to remember several typical functions like update, set file name, or uh, here it's a writer for data write. And we could use different types of data filters and data writer. Here we generate a Deloney, Deloney triangulation. This is a filter provided by VTK. If you want to get more details for this filter, we could search uh, Deloney, Deloney triangulation. And basically, it will return the polygonal data. And in that polygonal, it will return the unstructured data with all kinds of polygonal. Okay, start from here. The important thing is is those lines. Here we generate uh, uh, those lines. Here we generate a filter. This filter is Deloney, which will change the input into several polygonals. And then we just need to cite input data as a polygonal data. Here, this data is loaded by the data reader and we execute the update, then we will get the Deloney data. After this, we want to write the data into a specific file. Here we use VTK XML data site writer and generate a writer and site file name, site input connection. Here, it will construct a pipeline. For example, the first unit of the pipeline is a data reader, the second is a Deloney filter, and the third is this data writer. And we get output port from this Deloney. Then we will input the contents to this data writer, and then we could decide different type. Uh, we could set the binary or ASCII, and then we execute the data write. It will output the data. Besides, we can also use different types of read writer. For example, here we use this VDK unstructured read writer. And the code is really similar to this previous part. If we execute this code, If it works, OK, after compiling of this code, we could execute this writer polygonal oh, file name. Mm. 
Is that the data? Yeah. And it is okay to output the data. We get two files. One is this Deloney 3D box. It is in XML format. Another is uh, Deloney 3D box. It is in unstruct in vertical format. Before, it. if you see the content here, yeah, it is uh, in XML format, and it will contain the number of cells, a number of components, different parts for the data side. And the similar thing is uh, unstructured grid. It is in legacy VTT format. If we check the results by the power view, and uh, if we load the data, for example, this is a output from that from that program we just showing in the video. If we open this, it is a X actually it is XML. Wire, we could use wireframe here. Yeah, this is the output after the Deloney filters. This is our input, original data site. It is just a simple box. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you could get familiar with the VTK filters and how to write, how to output the data by different filters. For next video, we will show you how to organize the pipeline, how to define and organize our own pipelines, and I mean more complex pipelines based on VTK. Thanks for thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.